I've been hard up on space for a while. I've been able to keep my bedroom relatively clean for the last few years due to a lot of extra space that I had in the garage that I've been able to use. And I'm still able to use that space. However, I've kind of outgrown that space. So I did the only reasonable thing you can do at this point because buying a house could potentially be a year out given what I went and learned today. I went and looked at houses and found out about things about houses and where I want to particularly buy. It could take a year literally a year for me to like be on the list and get the thing and then for them to build it and for it to be done and for me to move in like it just takes time and so the only reasonable thing I can do at this point is really get a storage unit which is what I went and did so that's going to cost me a hundred dollars a month flat it's a five foot by ten foot space that includes insurance I added it was like an extra twenty dollars for insurance I was like yeah better safe than sorry even though I'm probably getting scammed so we are gonna go take all of my crap that I can't build or won't build until I have a house uh, to the storage unit. So my sealed Lego Death Stars are gonna go in there. My sealed UCS Millennium Falcon's gonna go out there. I think I might have two of them sealed. Uh, and then, you know, a lot of stuff is gonna go there where it's just out of the clutter of the garage. And if you haven't seen the garage, you might be new to the channel, whatever. Let's go see why, and maybe you'll get a better idea of why I went and did this. Welcome to the Lego room or storage room at this point. Yeah, as you can see, you literally walk in the door and hello boxes. So very cool. I want to keep my sideshow stuff. I don't think I'm going to bring that there, but I'm going to bring a lot of stuff there. I, I am probably going to have to find some more brown boxes for those, but like this stuff, most of the, these things, like these I specifically packed away for things I can take away. These Death Star and I think uh, the Harry Potter castle is there I'm going to take away because these are things I can't display even if I build or even like store in a spot. So I may as well get them out of the way and declutter a little bit and and uh, then I can like work with more videos and be able to build more smaller things and do things like that that I couldn't have done otherwise. So, you know, I think this is going to stay. This Falcon has to stay. It's too nice, you know. But I think a lot of, you know, maybe these boxes, maybe I'll just throw away this box, these Harry Potter boxes. I don't know. There's some stuff I'll definitely throw away uh, in this process. Like Vestas Wind Turbine, I'm not going to be building this for a while. I'm going to get it out of here. So, you know, I think a lot of the physical built stuff I'm definitely going to keep here. I don't see any real reason to bring that anywhere else because I think that that's a little bit more iffy for me personally. But like, you know, that thing down there, let's get it out of here. Let's get some walking space. Maybe I can even build a mock. I'm kidding. I'm not going to build a mock. What am I saying? I'm lying to you. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let's get this show on the road. So I thought I had gotten an indoor unit and so I come here and like it literally said indoor access climate control and I'm like okay so that's the one I want to buy right so I bought it online and so I get here and they tell me it's not indoor and I'm like okay and so now we're gonna go to another one that's not as close but it's still like reasonably close and they are supposed to have indoor units because I'm not putting my stuff outside I know it's climate control but I'm not putting it outside there's no way it's not it's worth the extra money to put it inside, you know? I'm here at night, which is significantly more sketchy, but we should be fine uh, to drop off our first batch of little things. And I gotta put on my lock, so we'll get the lock and go get that set up too. All right, so we are in and we now go up, I think. do not know why I didn't do this earlier because that is brilliant and saving a lot of space. So we're going to bring more stuff back here tomorrow or the day after. So the lock should be on and good to go. And uh, hopefully it is. I think it is. Everyone else's looks the same. So we're going to go with it. another trunk load of stuff ready to go up there because I was going to go get food and I figured I may as well make a visit anyway. So we have, I think, the uh, Hogwarts and then we have the Diagon Alley. We also have the Nintendo NES. You can maybe see it through the bag there. And then and we have the assembly square in there as well. So that's four more big sets. This is just an empty box. The other ones are sealed though. So we're off. So it's been like a week and a half since I brought stuff up, but my mom got me a bunch of boxes. So we're gonna fill these up and uh, bring them over to the storage unit today. So hopefully we can accomplish that. We have one box two boxes of stuff already still that we already had filled and then we have all these to fill up so let's get in here down goes a box let's get in here and get to work today because there's a lot to do uh to, to clear up some space in here so 
Woo! I don't even know what I'm gonna bring, honestly. I'm gonna try to get rid of like some of the stuff that I definitely know I don't need here right now with like Jurassic World and stuff. Um, crap like this that I don't want, you know. So we'll see what uh, we're able to accomplish today. Well, Zachary's here to help. Help me unbury my hoarding self. God, there's so much. So much. This is healthy, right? Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, chat, this is what Zach did, F in chat for uh, for Zach's F up. Honestly, I should be streaming this on Twitch. Probably. <laughs> this would be fun to stream, just a, like IRL. All right, so I've been working on this for a hot minute now. It's been like another hour or two since you last saw anything, and oh boy, does it look good. As you can see, there is a ton of stuff that's been done, obviously. Uh, we have everything. Oh, Zach's back. Oh, hey, hey here. hello. What's up? Very nice. Uh, yeah, so a ton of stuff's been done. Got a lot of stuff out of the way. A lot of stuff's out in the car now. We're going to show you that here in a minute, I'm sure. But uh, progress is being made, and, you know, just a lot of stuff is needs to still be organized properly. But getting there is still good. All right, we are out of here. Let me show you guys the packed up truck now. Uh, it's pretty crazy how much stuff is in there. This is hopefully going to be the rest of what I need to take for a while. I don't want to be making a ton of trips back and forth. So back in my car, I just have some empty boxes, really, and then that box has a bunch of other boxes in it. I still have the same stuff that I brought to Tampa in the back of here. God knows what kind of condition it's in. It's been there for a few days. Uh, and then we have a bunch of stuff in the truck still. So front of the truck has some boxes and a UCS Falcon. Back of the truck has a metric ton of stuff. I mean, it's insane how much we were able to pack into here. And then the back of the truck has a ton more boxes as well with uh, individual things packed within and whatnot. We made it up here, but it does look rather busy. Zach's behind me in the truck, so I'm gonna go talk to him. We'll figure out what we're gonna do. I'm also gonna work on a TikTok, cause yo, I'm TikTok famous now. All right, fellas, we made it up to the unit. We got some stuff already in there. And then we have all of this to go in. Zach's getting another bin right now to uh, bring stuff up. There's a lot of space in here. It's very useful. <laughs> Do we think this through? <laughs> no. <laughs> we got the second uh, load all up here and good to go. And so we're going back to the elevator to uh, get everything out of my car because everything's out of the truck now. So still a lot of space in there. I might even bring more stuff like next time I come up this way. So we're down to just my car of stuff, which is basically all the stuff I had brought to Tampa. And then we have some boxes in here. So we finished everything in here. And so this is everything we had to bring up. Thank you very much, Zach, for the help. And uh, you know he'll be he'll be rewarded aptly with a kid meal at uh, Chick Fil A. Just the four count. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Just, no. Yeah. Of course. And I keep the toy. Yeah. Yeah. Or ice cream. I get it. I get it either way. Oh shoot! Did it hit the box? <gasps> it hit the box. No way. Unbelievable. It's your fault. I definitely didn't put those there. <laughs> And I figured a little before and after look here at the end was kind of important. I did not used to be able to walk freely throughout the room. It was a very tight corridor here on the left, and there was no corridor here on the right, except like maybe a foot could fit here, and you could kind of wiggle through because you know, had the army in it, the UCS Falcon here, and the UCS Star Destroyer boxes over there, and it was an absolute disaster in here, and it still to some degree is, and that's just unavoidable with what I do and how much stuff I need to do what I do at at what I consider to be a pretty good level. It's just kind of a necessary evil. As Brickitect likes to put it, I don't have a too much stuff problem. I have a space problem. So that will be solved when I buy a house. Very fortunately, that will be happening hopefully within the next year, if not sooner. And that will probably solve all of my issues for a long, long time. For me, part of it is just getting my collection organized in a way that makes sense for me. And that's just something that's gonna take some time and some thinking through, but I am definitely working towards that here. I like being able to walk through this. I am going to get more of these bins that I use for storage here and probably send some of those sets to the storage 
storage unit once I've done like comparisons and everything uh, of those types of things just because I don't need them in here necessarily. So there's definitely a lot more space I can get out of this. I'm not sure how much more I'll be taking to the storage unit. If you want to see more storage unit content, I'm sure I'll show off more on my MR Vlogs channel, but this is probably it for the main channel until I actually move houses. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this type of video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Come on in. It's very nice inside. I can a see you might block in your glasses. A little further. Just come on in. Welcome everyone. To hell.